let's show the mechanism and predict the product for this compound. This is good. This is pretty similar to the previous case. It sounded like you thought there might be an important minor product. But what were your thoughts there? What, did, what else did you think might possibly happen here? Um, well, I, I don't know. If, if this wasn't a good leaving group, So I think there might be some extent of nucleophilic attack as well. Let's see, in the lecture notes, all he said was write the reaction for the reaction of each acid with ammonia. Uh, I think this is the major product. If there is some nucleophilic attack, that would be minor. Unless maybe, in order to get the nucleophilic attack, I think we might have to um, add stronger conditions, say heat and time, in order to get uh, the, the nucleophilic attack. Go here. Uh, all right, in any case, we were focusing on the acid base reaction. Now, the one thing that you didn't do is you didn't deprotonate this oxygen. That was good. That was kind of the trap here. What, what type of functional group do we have here? Uh, Carboxylic acid. And what type of functional group do we have here? Uh, hydroxyl or alcohol. And alcohol. And who's more acidic? Well, carboxylic acid. So it would be a mistake to deprotonate this oxygen. The carboxylic acid is certainly more. I actually thought about the deprotonation. I didn't write it right. out. But then it didn't make sense because mm -hmm. it just, uh, if you uh, deprotonate the oxygen that's uh, on the carboxylic acid that's not connected to the carbonyl carbon or directly pi bonded, right. then you can see that it's clearly going to be a uh, resonance that stabilizes the, the uh, negative charge, where you don't have that on the hydroxyl on the, on the number two carbon or whatever that is. Yep, that sounds like a good analysis. That's right. That's just the that's a good analysis. That's just the general reason. Why carboxylate hydrogens are more acidic, carboxyl hydrogens are more acidic than alcohol hydrogens, because if you lose the carboxyl hydrogen, the negative charge is stabilized by resonance. So when we choose this alcohol oxygen, it would not be stabilized. It's not close enough to here to, to get any resonance stabilization. Good, good. And your inspector also asked what would be a good name for this. So this is called S lactic acid. Could we figure out what might be a reasonable name then for this compound? Uh, this would be analogous with the previous example. Uh, ammonium uh, lac uh, lactonate, lactonate, or lac. <laughs> Those are good guesses. Now, lactic acid is not an IUPAC name; it's a common name. So we're not going to use the OH suffix. Propane. No. Uh, that that wouldn't be bad, except that wouldn't take into account the OH group over here. And those were good guesses that you had before. This would be ammonium lactate. Okay. Or I guess ammonium S lactate. Because we're based off a common name. Instead of using O8, we're just using 8. Is that the, have you taken biology? Um, yeah. Yeah. So you might remember lactic acid from uh, cellular respiration. This is the product of uh, anaerobic respiration. If you, uh, if you have to go through the fermentation step instead of the Krebs cycle, you accumulate lactic acid. 
So this is an important uh, compound in uh, biochemistry. A bunch of carboxylic acids are important in uh, cellular respiration in biochemistry. 